first weekend of February is already in the books and we made the seven hour trek to Aspen, Colorado for the very first time. It's been an insanely dry January and February, but that hasn't stopped us from getting out and exploring the beautiful mountains here in the Rockies. Guys, look at this. It snowed. I didn't know it was supposed to snow. But good morning, guys. Looks like we got maybe like a little little dusting of snow here. Man, it feels like it's been so long since I've even seen snow. Going to snow mass today should be a beautiful day. Okay, do I pay with you? Uh huh. Okay, can you take card? Yes, we do. Awesome. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Does this lot usually fill up? Um, it fills up like a 10 30. Okay. Only on Saturday. Sundays are really slow. Okay. So wow. If you can just park right next to that red booth, it will be great. Right next to the red booth. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. adventure here and I am out at Snowmass. I don't really have a great reason as to why I chose Snowmass just when I looked at all the different maps. Snowmass seemed to be the biggest and I came right up to one of the parking lots here at the base of the mountain um, just to make it a little bit easier to get in and out today uh, rather than having to take the bus but I did have to pay $30 to park here so <laughs> that's that's just what it is, but at least we're right here at the base of the mountain, and it looks to be pretty cloudy today, so gonna be a little different weather um, that I'm actually excited for. We've had so many bluebird days that maybe some clouds will just be nice to mix things up. Check this out, squad. Best part of the day is the breakfast. I made this yesterday. I was going to make pancakes, but I realized I didn't have any syrup, and there's nothing worse than pancakes without syrup so i made the sourdough breakfast sandwich again we got hash browns eggs bacon sausage on sourdough bread toasted in the bacon grease so absolutely beautiful and this is what we need after a hard day yesterday and hopefully another hard day of skiing a lot more cloudy this morning so I went with the hybrid lenses kind of give me some more versatility but it seems like it's actually gonna be a pretty bluebird day but whatever these work out pretty well and it should be a beautiful day He said she was from Willy Wonka's factory, which is pretty cool, so. Let's go! Stoked, stoked. Look at this, beautiful houses, beautiful day. I mean, come on. Oh my God. Let's go guys. I had no idea this circus was gonna be a pommel lift like this. This is this is awesome. This is like old school on a way. So uh, look at this day though. I mean just spectacular. One thing I love about Colorado and that I missed, the elevation. Like now we're getting to the above tree line stuff, and it's just crazy to see how the just everything changes. But in Utah we don't have this sort of elevation. Um, and so it's cool to see like where the tree line starts to recede. But look at this shit. Oh, this is so dope. Hey, I wanna get between us. Hungry, they went for us to take us down. I know what it takes to free us. No one but you and me.
it's rocky, isn't it? Again, first time ever here. And it's always kind of hard to see what's below you in terms of rocks, because it's very bare. So just always playing it safe, guys. Always playing it safe. Man, that's a big cliff. Pretty nice, I guess. Bad little hit there. What's in here? Oh boy. No tracks over here, which makes me a bit nervous. Oh God. And this is a danger zone. It's like a landmine. Stay light on your feet here. Oh yeah. Oh, it feels good to be skiing some snow again. That was honestly so sick. This is like one or two inches that we got overnight. It's just skiing so nice, especially up top because it's just, it gets so cold up there and the wind up there. So it's like, oh, it's it's absolutely beautiful. Super light snow. So the one bummer is that it is kind of a long lap. You got to go down to another chair, take this chair up and then do the uh, pommel lift, which took a little while. And the fact that it's only one at a time, the line kind of took a little bit, but it's all good, beautiful day for it. Oh, I'm so stoked. What a day. I mean, just like look at the view around me, man. Like, holy. Let's go. Circa uh, little T-bar thing, Pomerail, closes at 2.30. It's 1.45 right now. So I dumped a little bit early off it um, to do some of these side shoots. I think I just did this one actually, damn it. To do some of these side shoots, 
So hopefully I can get one more lap in from the top. We've been trying to do every single shoot up here. This bull is certainly taking some time to get used to because you're like, you'll have a pitch and then it'll basically flatten out. Then it'll kind of pitch down again. Then you'll have a mogul field. So there's a lot of undulations in here as you can kind of see like behind me, but it's been so much fun. So I'm gonna try to rip this down and hopefully get one more in here before they shut that lift down. Such a good day. <laughs> so beautiful. Looks like the line is still to the end of the corral, so hopefully we can make it out. It's like 210 right now, so we might quite literally get one of the last on the just love skiing and just being out in these mountains like this. This is absolutely unbelievable. I hiked to the top of the Cirque lift. There's actually a backcountry gate that leads you essentially out of bounds. Definitely not going to ski any of this, but I just wanted to check out the view, see if I could see the maroon bells. And this is just like why Colorado is pretty unreal. So we're up at about 12,500 feet and this peak is still higher. So this is probably a 13,000 peak just look at like the ruggedness of this this is all above tree level you'll kind of see the trees there and then they eventually stop but like look at this it, like when i think of colorado this is what i'm reminded of like just really high elevation looks like someone got some turns in right there just absolutely beautiful Where's my top sheet? Easy, easy. More rocks. Oh god. Oh shit. On my way back down off the Alpine Springs lift, I saw this like hanging valley area, which seemed to have like a little kind of like skate hike traverse across, and it opens up into like this whole like glades area, which I think looks really fun. So just in the spirit of continuing the stoke for the weekend, I'm gonna try to take this on my way down rather than just skiing like a groomer or something on the way down. But look at this, like this is like really cool part of snow mass. It's like, there's like, just like these zones. You could just like farm all day. I mean, look at Hanging Valley. Look at just how many areas and runs there are. So I think we have to kind of hike maybe up this little way a little bit but it'll be a great way to sort of send off the weekend. Okay. Am 
Am I, can I go up? Or? Yeah, you can, but I don't, I'm not sure what you're doing with your camera. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Oh my god. That, my friends, was a sick day of skiing. I now have my work cut out for me big time squad. It is four o'clock on the dot, and I have probably a seven hour haul, maybe even a little bit more with stops to get back to Park City tonight, which is, which is late. That's a long, long haul. So sick day, sick weekend, and this is kind of the reality of being um, more of a weekend warrior. I can only ski on the weekends, so we have to make it back tonight so I can go to work tomorrow. First gas stop of the trip here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Wow. About an hour away, I'm starting to get pretty tired. Gas stop number two. Made it back to Park City. I'm about ready for bed. I got work in the morning. Actually, by the time you guys see this, it's not even gonna make sense. I don't even know what I'm saying. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, fam.